Well, hello, IDS 105 students, and welcome to this quick video that's going to walk you through how to find your module one, week one discussion assignment for your IDS 105 course. As a reminder, you access all of your course assignments through Brightspace, which is that learn.snhu.edu, and you want to make sure you navigate to the classes that you are taking. So for IDS 105, once you find your classroom, there's a couple of ways you can get to the discussion board. You can click on course menu and you can click on learning modules and we'll just focus in on module one for right now, but you click on module one and when you click on module one, it'll take you to the actual module. As you scroll through, you always wanna make sure that you're clicking on these blue headings because they get you to where you wanna go and read through all of the information from page to page. So click the blue, you're gonna do a lot of clicking and scrolling to get through the module content. Um, so for example, if you click on module one, it's going to pull up the module one information, what you're gonna be learning about this week, an overview about the module. So as you move through it, you can arrow over. And as you arrow through the content, it'll bring up some of the topics um, and terminology and concepts that you will cover um, here in week one. This is in addition to any required reading that you might have. So as you work yourself through the reading and the content within the module and outside of the module, um, just make sure that you are scrolling all the way down to the bottom and clicking over. I did wanna point out there is a required resources section within each of your modules that'll always have what chapter you are reading or chapters that you're reading in your textbook for IDS 105. But there's also a lot of helpful um, links to different websites or extra reading from blogs or journals or even some videos from week to week that'll help support your success in understanding the terminology and concepts that we're covering every week. For many of you, for most of you actually, a lot of this terminology and concepts is gonna be brand new. So take some time to explore through all of the resources that are at your fingertips. I know that there's a lot of text on the pages in addition to what you're reading in your textbook, but it is worth your energy and it's time well spent for your success. So as you arrow over, you can also get into the discussion board right here. So you'll notice it's 1-1 discussion, exploring your identities. It'll list an overview of the discussion. It'll give you your initial post. That is what is always due on Thursdays by 11.59 p.m. every week that you have a discussion assignment. For your very first week, module one, week one, it's due at 11.59 p.m. East Coast time. So this initial post, those are the questions that you're answering and sharing your perspective, your experiences, your thoughts. You also will be responsible for every week that you have a discussion assignment to respond to at least two of your classmates. And this really right here, underneath this for your response post address the following, this gives you ideas of things that you want to make sure that you are touching on or talking about as you respond to your classmates from week to week. You can respond to more than two of your classmates, but it's so important to make sure that your peer responses are more than just a couple of sentences. You really want to expand that dialogue and dive into the topic and share um, any thoughts or feedback or maybe similarities that you might have with your classmates, or you might even be learning something completely new from them. And that is completely okay to discuss those options too. The other thing about the discussion assignment like I said, the initial posts are due on Thursdays, 11.59 p.m. Those peer responses or classmate responses are due by Sundays at 11.59 p.m. But you can always work ahead on them earlier in the week, depending on what works best for your schedule. So I wanted to point out that's one way to find the discussion assignment. A quick way is to click on course menu and then click on discussions. When you do that, it is going to pull up the class discussions from week to week. So you will see a general questions area. This is really for any general questions or concerns regarding the course. This is not for you to ask about like what grade you might've gotten or to upload any assignments or anything like that. Anything that is personal, you wanna always make sure that you email your instructor on those questions. This is just for general questions that you might have or general thoughts or feedback about the class, okay? But your instructor will check this spot and get back to you within 24 hours. Um, underneath the module discussions, you will see every discussion that you have for the term. So here's week one, um, then you have your week three, and then you'll have week four, week five, week six, week seven is non-graded, and then you'll have week eight. So they're all right here, so you can see them. 
Um, you'll also be able to see when somebody has posted um, in the discussion thread. So you wanna click the blue, get to where you wanna go. It'll go and we'll bring up that overview of the assignment. It'll list those initial post questions you're supposed to be answering, give you ideas of what you're responding to your classmates with. And what I wanted to point out too is some students like to copy and paste um, the initial post questions into a Word document, like a Microsoft Word document, and then they answer them from there um, just to kind of keep themselves organized and make sure they covered everything. You do not have to do that. It's just an idea that is out there to just make sure you've answered all of the questions. How to actually respond in the discussion thread is you want to click on this start a new thread. And when you do that, you enter your subject line. So let's say I'm going to say Melanie's um, IDS 105 introduction. So give yourself a title just so it stands out a little bit and you can easily find your discussion once you post it. And then this text box is actually where you will type your discussion question answers in, okay? There's also some fun things up here if you want to bold or italicize or underline anything. Um, you can add links, you can add photos. Um, there's different options for you to upload things. Remember, if you share anything that is somebody else's work, like a quote, an image, an article, you will wanna make sure that you properly cite those sources. The biggest thing is, and you don't have to do that. You don't have to have anything like that. You can just use your very own um, answers for each question. Just draw upon what you have reviewed in the module and in your reading of your textbooks and draw upon any personal experiences that you might have, okay? Once you answer those questions, you will type right in here, you will just click on post. Once you post your discussion, you should be able to go back, refresh, go back into the discussion board, and you'll see your discussion. When you see other people's um, discussion posts, it'll look just like this. This is actually one of mine in my personal classroom. Um, I post it in the discussion board. So you can just click on the blue. It'll get you to where you want to go. So if you were responding to somebody, you would open up their post, pretend this is a classmate's post, you would read what they had to say, right? Um, and then you would click on reply to thread. And then you would be able to type your response right here to your classmate. So it's super helpful to, you know, if you, I was responding to um, Claire, I would say Claire, and then type my thoughts and feedback to that um, classmate. And then you just click on post. Remember, Initial discussion post is due by Thursdays, 11.59 p.m. Your first week, it's East Coast time. After that, it goes to your time zone. And then those peer responses are due um, on Sunday. So just to recap, that's two easy ways to find the discussion assignments in your course from week to week. If you ever have questions on anything, please do not hesitate to let us know. Uh, we are so excited for you to kick off this first week. You got this.